Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at finding the limit of an expression involving a radical. So we have find the limit as x approaches negative infinity of the square root of 5x squared minus 8 divided by x plus 3. So what we want to do is divide by the greatest power of x involved in this problem. But we need to be careful of this square root sign. For instance, most students when they get this wrong will do something like we're going to divide the numerator and denominator by x. But the problem with this is, they look at this and say, all right, I could send x into this square root if I call it the square root of x squared. But what we need to be careful of is that the square root of x squared does not equal x. The square root of x squared equals the absolute value of x. So we need to consider that when we're solving this problem. So instead of dividing the numerator and denominator by x, we're going to divide the numerator and denominator by the absolute value of x. And now what this allows us to do for the next line, we'll call the next line, line 2. We have the limit as x approaches negative infinity, and we have the square root of 5x squared minus 8 divided by x plus 3. But now we have times we could put a multiplication sign between them. And now instead of 1 over the absolute value of x, we could call this 1 over the square root of x squared. Now we can make the substitution for the square root of x squared. We have to call it the absolute value of x. But now in the denominator, let's leave it as the absolute value of x. So now for the next line, we have for line 3, we could distribute x squared into this radical expression here because when we're multiplying two radical expressions they combine to a single radical so now we could distribute 1 over the square root of x squared or I'm sorry we could just distribute 1 over x squared into this expression in here 5x squared minus 8 so now we have the limit as x approaches negative infinity and now we have 5x squared divided by x squared now we're distributing so we have 1 over x squared times 5x squared, and now we have 1 over x squared times negative 8, so we have minus 8 over x squared. All divided by, and now this is where we need to be careful, because we have x plus 3 times 1 over the absolute value of x. But now, this problem, we're looking at the limit as x approaches negative infinity. So we're concerned with all of these x values to the left of zero. So remember, the absolute value of x equals x if x is greater than or equal to zero, but it equals negative x if x is less than zero. So since we're looking at negative infinity, we're considering all the x values that are less than zero, so we are going to replace the absolute value of x with negative x. So that means for the next line we have x plus 3 times 1 over negative x. So now for the next line of this problem, for line 4, now we have the limit as x approaches negative infinity. And we can simplify the expression inside the radical. So x squared divided by x squared will cancel. So we have 5 minus 8 over x squared. But now we need to distribute 1 over negative x. We have 1 over negative x times x is x over negative x. And now we have plus 3 times 1 over negative x, which is 3 over negative x. So we have 3 times 1 over negative x simplifies to 3 over negative x. So now for the next stage of the problem, we have the square root, or I'm sorry, we have the limit. We always have to write this limit. The limit as x approaches negative infinity. And now we have 5 minus 8 over x squared divided by, and now x divided by negative x is negative 1. And we have plus 3 over negative x. So now we can simplify this limit. Now we can get rid of this limit as x approaches negative infinity because we have enough to solve this problem. So this is equal to, and we have 5 minus, and now the limit as x approaches negative infinity 
of 8 over x squared is equal to 0. The reason being this denominator is going to grow pretty large which will shrink this fraction to 0. So we have 5 minus 0 and now in the denominator we have negative 1 plus and now the limit as x approaches negative infinity of 3 over negative x is also equal to 0 because as this denominator grows that's going to shrink this fraction to 0. So now all we need to do for the last line is simplify. We have the square root of 5 minus 0 is simply the square root of 5. And now in the denominator we have negative 1 plus 0 which is negative 1. And now we have 5 divided by negative 1 is simply the negative square root 5. So the limit as x approaches negative infinity of the square root of 5x squared minus 8 divided by x plus 3 is negative root 5. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on calculating the limits of expressions involving radicals. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful.